we are to give it our all, and then at the end of it wasn't good enough, then at least we'll say, well, we tried. If we, if we don't do it and don't give our backing and she stays on here, we'll always have the question, what if we'd done that? I think a lot of credit as well goes to Heather because when we went to Boletary for a week at, at Easter, they did a, a thorough assessment of Heather and, and they looked as to whether at 12 years old she would survive and flourish at, at Boletary's Tennis Academy and um, they firmly came to the conclusion because of her personality and her outgoing nature that she would. So they, they, they don't take it lightly. I feel kind of nervous because it's really soon in there. Also, I feel excited. It's kind of a too emotional thing, and I'm really looking forward to it as well. My dream, well, my ambition is to get to number one in the world and win at least one of the Grand, grand Slams. Which one would you like if you had a choice? Wimbledon. Well, I love Serena Williams and I like Sharapova, but um. They're my heroes, but when I'm older, I, I want people to want to be like me. You have to be selfish to win. You gotta, you can't feel sorry for your opponent when you're winning. You just gotta, while you're ahead, you gotta stay ahead and keep them down. seems like yesterday that uh, Michelle and I were bringing Heather down here in a carry cot and uh, lots of you will remember that and uh, we used to put her outside the squash court and she'd sleep and we'd play squash and we used to um, prop her up at the side of the tennis court and we'd play tennis and she'd lie there and she'd sleep and she'd watch us and now with hindsight, I know what she was thinking. She was thinking, I can do better than those two guys. <laughs> and she did. Oh yeah. <laughs>